How's it hanging dudes and dudettes? My name is Sean and I like to build things in city skylines. And like you probably, I am so excited for the next installment of our beloved franchise, City Skylines 2. Today we have more news concerning CS2. So buckle in because we are going to dispel some rumors and explain some general questions the community has had and from the developers' mouths, no less, themselves, right? We will go over dev comments on Twitter about multiplayer and also everyone is seemingly concerned about the assets in the Steam Workshop. So let's address that and like if they will or won't be carried over. We are going to learn quite a bit today and if you did learn anything at the end of this video, Please leave a like and sub for more news and I'll be getting back to our finale, final, last city, new city build thing soon, right? It's the last city that we're going to be building on the on the old city skyline. So it's like the final, last, new city build. So link will be in the description uh, and I have other more popular news and speculation videos as well. So alright, let's uh, go ahead and grab a whiskey and a water. Or a water, you don't have to have water if you don't want to. And let's hop right in. Okay, so here's an article from the Game Crater. And... Um, it talks about how Colossal Order recently took to Twitter to provide some insight into the upcoming sequel, City Skylines 2. Amidst a sea of rumors regarding the game's development, the developer confirmed that City Skylines 2 is indeed built in Unity like its predecessor. Furthermore, the developer addressed the compatibility of City Skylines 2 with mods and assets from the original game, stating that existing Steam Workshop content would need to be revamped or mod modified to work with the new game. They also addressed the possibility of adding multiplayer functionality to the game indicating it would require a significant investment of time and resources and could detract from the core single player experience that they are trying to create while the response to the multiplayer question was not a definitive no it is likely that the answer is effectively negative which may be a positive de development given the historical difficulties experienced by other city building games that has tried to incorporate multiplayer i wouldn't go as far as to say that they would not you maybe be able to share maps or stuff like that but we kind of already have the scene workshop for that so in that essence it's already kind of multiplayer right we're able to share assets and maps and build things and stuff like that and share it around so as long as i keep that going forward at least we'll retain that um multiplayer aspect but in-game multiplayer i don't know so let's go ahead and check out what they said on twitter and at specters spec ors any scope to add multiplayer in city skylines too Colossal Order replied. This is all courtesy of Biffa Plays, by the way. He did a little digging on Twitter and compiled these uh, these little tweets here. So this is all from Biffa. So, you know, like, you know, that's all him. I'm just reporting on it. City Skylines 2 is our most ambitious project to date, expanding on every mechanic in the franchise. Adding multiplayer support takes an incredible amount of time and resources that would take away from building the core player experience we are striving to create. So that lets me know that the game probably isn't quite finished and adding multiplayer, like they're saying, would take a long time. And what would multiplayer even look like within City Skylines 2? Would it would it be, uh, you know, hey, I'm requesting lumber. Uh, I have a friend who has a big lumber industry and I need some lumber for some goods and services and I'm going to request lumber. Like that might be something that it looks like, you know, you have to will and deal in different resources and each map might have more resources than another. You might have to import and export and that might be a thing, right? But it probably won't be in the game to date. Now we know Colossal Order Par Paradox Interactive, they always are adding DLCs. I mean, you just look at City Skylines right now on YouTube and they have just, they're constantly releasing creator packs, they're constantly partnering with creators. They're, they're just very, um, you know, fan base oriented. And to say that modders may not or may be able to add some sort of multiplayer functionality in and then they end up adapting that into the game later as DLC or something like that. That's completely possible. So let's not get crazy here and thinking that this will never ever happen. But does it need to happen for the game to be successful? No. Does it uh, need to happen for the game to be popular? No. Does it need to happen to give players something else to chew on? Possibly. But will that make or break the launch of the game? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. So, now there's been some other concerns, mods and stuff like that, and assets. <clears throat> Somebody on Reddit said, How do older asset creators feel about CS2 so far? After the excitement of the initial announcement, I'm left with more questions than answered. Rightfully so. I mean, it's, it's early. Like, like they're going to have a lot more, you know, information coming out. So, let's just go dive through this little Reddit post right here. 
and alleviate some concerns. This person said, I've been thinking about this quite a bit, especially after seeing CO tweet, City Skylines 2 is an entirely new game. This is their tweet. Workshop content will not be directly transferable, but will need remaking or adaptions. Modding is very important to us and encourage it with all our games. We will share more information about modding uh, the game in the future, which pretty much killed my hopes that CS1 assets would be available for the game. That means that we are going to lose huge amounts of assets for creators that are no longer making assets or even playing the game. Assets that were created as commissions for specific projects and even from current creators that might not be interested in the new game or doing what is required to get existing assets in City Skylines 2. Look, let's talk about this. They're not taking away City Skylines 1. It's not like you're not going to be able to play it again. It's just the assets in the Steam Workshop will fall under a different category for City Skylines 2. They're going to have um, you know, different requirements, uh, different ceilings to reach, uh, you know, a, poly, a certain amount of polygon counts. You know what I mean? There's going to be just a different set of requirements for City Skylines 2. It's probably going to be a different branch of mods and assets. If you want to play City Skylines 1, do that. But we all know that City Skylines 1 has like some, like this little bit of, without LUDs and different mods, it has a cartoony, like, um, pre built on a table style of looking like how they used to make the old Godzilla movies right and they used to have like these prefabricated little miniature buildings that's what City Skylines looks like like a little miniature town and it's cartoony like that not as bad as City uh, Sim City it's uh, it's you know leg and shoulders above that but if we're getting a complete upgrade they're going to need to have a separate set of rules functionality and requirements to build new assets and all of these other creators who constantly make new assets and constantly create mods for City Skylines 1 will transfer over to City Skylines 2. And they will adapt. And it will create more people. More people will come in and fill the gaps left behind by the people who don't want to do it anymore. Because people who aren't building anything as far as assets go in City Skylines 1 are probably not going to do that for City Skylines 2. And if they do, they will be met with love, right? So everybody just calm down. Those assets probably aren't going anywhere. They'll just be restricted to City Skylines 1. And I'm sure that within a month, um, two months, there will be new mods like resembling Fix It and Move It, or they might already be adapted in the game. Colossal Order is constantly working with creators side by side to make the game better. And that is rare within games these days, guys. So let's all just calm down and let's just chill. You know, everything's going to work out fine. So, now that's off my chest, right guys? <laughs> that's, uh, you know, so that's pretty much all we got for you guys today. If you guys want to go back and, and check out uh, other videos on my channel, I have a, um, a Let's Build where just start out this tiny little town on Finale Island. But I really just wanted to touch base with you guys and dispel some of these rumors, you know, about some of this stuff. Because it's really just not that big of a deal. Even they say here, will the workshop be available in City Skylines 2? What about the assets today on a workshop? Will they survive in CS2 workshop? City Skylines 2 is an entirely new game. Existing workshop content would likely need to be remade or adapted. Which means they're going to have to come into the new game. So we'll have more, we'll have more to share about that in the future. Let's just all chill. Let's calm down. Let's take a drink of our whiskey. Let's relax. And until next time, piss off. Two to the one, to the one, to the three. I like good pussy and I like good trees. Smoke so much weed you wouldn't believe. And I get more ass than the toilet seat. Three to the one, to the one, to the three. I met a bad bitch last night in the D. Let me tell you how I'm gonna leave with me. Conversation and hear the I've been to the motherfucking mountain top. Heard motherfuckers talk, seen them drop.